Okay, I am getting ready to paint the wall. And I bought, I tore it up already. I bought this uh, Smart Roller by Wagner. So I just got finished watching some YouTube videos on it. And I um, looked at the directions. So, this is the piece that goes into the paint can, and then you have to rub, they have a little packet of petroleum. Let's see, let me get that. So, they had a little packet of petroleum that you had to rub on this piece. And it's supposed to make it easier when you attach it to the, um, when you attach it to the roller. It's supposed to go in there and with the lubrication on there, it's supposed to go a little bit easier. So I had to figure that part out by watching a few things and looking at the um, instructions. So now I'm going to, it's supposed to be super easy. So I'm gonna open up the can of paint and let's get started. got my paint today so it's already mixed and let me put this somewhere where it don't all right so you're supposed to put this piece into the paint and it attaches onto the can on there pretty sturdy and then this part here it has these little clips and you can pull this off you had to I had to press it down in there really good for it to lock so it locked so I did that part already so now you're supposed to attach the paint that slipped on there really easy with the lubrication of the petroleum jelly and this piece is loose so I don't know I'll see once I get the paint in there and then I'll tighten that up so I'm they didn't say it on the directions but I'm assuming that that's what happens so that one video the lady said you just pull this up pretty slowly as it starts to fill so this black handle I'm going to start pulling on that Let's see if that works. Oh yeah, it's coming through now. So I see it coming up. So I'm pulling it pretty slowly. I see the paint coming through. I'm just trying to be careful not to knock the paint can over. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm pulling this thing up and the paint is not up there. It's coming, but I got the, the plunger is up here already and the paint is still down here. Maybe I pulled it too fast. Oh, is this supposed to be tight? Because I don't know. I don't think so. But I only got a little bit of paint in there so far. And I already have this plunger extended out already. I don't know. I'm going to tighten that part up because I don't want to have no mishaps. Well, that wasn't easy because I only added that amount of paint in there. 
and I already have this extended. So now what? That's not as easy as they said it was. I guess I'm going to just have to work with this a little bit. Now, how do you get this piece off? Okay, we go. All right. Well, that's all I got in there. My first go round, so. I wonder if I put it back on there now. I don't know. This is not as easy, is it? And then you're supposed to, oh, then you push this, okay, I'm going to put it back on there, because that's, this thing is ratcheting it back down, so I'm going to ratchet back down to where the paint was, and then I'm going to try to put some more paint back in there. some more paint back in there. Okay, let me try this again. Let's try it again. I'm pulling this, pulling this thing back out. Let's see if it'll get filled up. No. Now see, this is not as easy. Okay, there it is. I guess I'm gonna have to keep doing that. I'm gonna have to keep, okay, it seems like it's coming up now. I see the flow is coming. Coming up. Okay, I'm going to ratchet back down. I'm going to pull it back out again. See if some more will come up. There's a little bit more coming. I would like to get the whole tube filled so I don't have to fill it up as frequently. I'm going to rush it back down. This is the kind of stuff they didn't say that you had to do. So I got, so far, I got it, it's here. I'm going to rush it back down. It's, it has a lot of air in it right now, so I don't think I can get any more paint in there. Maybe that's all I'm going to get. Well, that's a bummer. Well, we just going to start here. So you just press this, press these two little white levers together and that releases it. So that's easy. And let's see what happens. Let's see. Can you see my wall? Let me move it over here. Let me move my camera on my wall. Now, I just did that line, so I won't get as close to that line. I have to do that another time. I got a couple nails in the wall, so I gotta take those out. 
and let's see if uh, this works. So I'm gonna press my lever to get some paint to come out. So if you can see, this is not as easy as they make it out to be. Let me see. Let's see if we can get some paint and get it started. came out yet okay here's a few little dots coming out can you see those after all after all this cranking 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 can you see how it's coming out with these little splatter let's get it moving let's get it I'm continuing Okay, it's starting to come out. Okay. Now, I thought I had the tube completely filled, but as you can see, the more times that I press the handle, there's actually that much paint in there, or I guess it's all up in this tube and all up in there. So, it's on the wall now, it's coming through. And it is a nice little smooth, it is really smooth as far as on the wall. It has a really nice roller on there. And it, it, it actually doesn't have any splatter. And I haven't pressed the, I haven't pressed the little handle again yet. So there must be enough paint in there actually it is pretty nice now that i finally got it going and i will be doing the ceiling as well so right now i'm just um doing the walls okay so there you have it there's the paint on the wall so it did work and i will I will check back in later.